Okay, amazing bio kids. Are y'all ready for another dissection video? I'm so, I'm sure you're so excited. So the next one is going to be the urinary system as well as the miscellaneous structures. Okay, so that's the part of your rat packet that you wanna take a look at. All right, so we're gonna start with the urinary system. All right, urinary system, remember the function is to get rid of waste products from the bloodstream. And that means we need to get rid of something called urea. You guys call it urine, but urine is urea plus water. So the way that we're gonna get rid of that is we have to bring blood to the kidneys. Okay, so the heart is gonna pump blood and it's gonna come down this main vessel called the descending aorta, and it comes into your kidney. Here's your kidney. Can you see it? That's why it gets the name kidney bean. Looks like a perfect little kidney. Okay, the kidney is gonna have these millions of little units called nephrons, and the nephron's job is to remove the urea, okay? Absorb a little bit of water if we need it, and then it's gonna send it down this tube right here. Okay, you see that little tube? That little tube is called the ureter. So the ureter, it does have smooth muscles, is going to contract and squeeze the urine, which is urea and water, down to the urinary bladder. So it goes kidney, ureter, and the urinary bladder is right here. Now this is a male, okay? So I'm gonna try to zoom in right here a little bit for y'all. Okay, that's connective tissue. That is the urinary bladder right here. Now what's beside it, we'll talk about in the reproductive video, but this is the bladder, okay? So one more time, it goes kidney, ureter, urinary bladder. From there, it will exit. Now this is a male, so it will exit out the penis. His urethra is right there. It's the same opening for sperm as it is for urine. Okay, the female, I do wanna show you on her, just in case, cause you never know what rats we use for the practical. Okay, if I move these over, okay, there's her kidney. You can see it right there. Okay, kidney. Her ureter is right here. Okay, ureter. And then her urinary bladder, I have to kind of look down in here, it's this little projection right there, okay? That's urinary bladder. So there you go, there is the, oh, purpose of the urinary bladder, by the way, is just to store the urine, which is urea and water, until it's ready to be excreted out of the body, okay? Her urethra is this opening, okay? Girls have three, so that's urethra. Below that is the vagina, and then the anus is by the tail right there. So urethra is right there. Okay, miscellaneous organs. We're gonna cover a few of these. I think, you know, we went over a few with digestive, but it's good to, to do it again. I'm gonna use the female rat because her liver is beautiful. We'll start off with the liver. It's this giant organ right here, right below the diaphragm. There's the diaphragm muscle, okay, right here. And if you lift the diaphragm up, you can see all the different lobes of the liver. Remember, its job, it has several jobs. One, the most important with digestive, is to produce bile and release it to mechanically emulsify lipids. That means break them down into smaller pieces. Okay, the liver also has other functions. One of the most common that I'm sure you've heard of is it's responsible for detoxification of drugs, alcohol, and poisons. That's why people sometimes who are alcoholics or drug addicts, you may have heard of a condition called cirrhosis of the liver. Okay, so that's the second function. The third function, and we talked about this in the fall, is it's capable of taking excess glucose that you have if you eat a lot of sugars, stores it as glycogen until later, or it can take glycogen and break it down into glucose whenever you need it. So like if you're between meals, then its job is to um, take some of that excess glycogen and break it down. Okay, so that's the liver. All right, another one, um, let's talk next about the pancreas. We mentioned that one in the digestive video. I'll show you this one because it's a different rat. Okay, here's the liver. I lift it up. Okay, there is the stomach, we lift it up. All this bumpy stuff right here, okay, this is the pancreas. So remember, its job, okay, if it's for the digestive system, because it actually belongs to two systems, if it's digestion, it's going to produce that sodium bicarbonate at first to neutralize the acidic chyme over here in the duodenum. The second secretion it does is it releases those digestive enzymes, okay, called amylase, lipase, and trypsin, and that completes the chemical breakdown of all carbs, lipids, and proteins in the duodenum. Another function, though, and this belongs to the endocrine system, not digestive, in the endocrine system, this is the organ, y'all, that produces insulin and glucagon. I know you've all heard of insulin. Insulin is responsible for getting your blood sugar to come down. So if your blood sugar is high, 
the job of insulin is to make your cells more receptive to sugar. So sugar will be transported into the cells. It's taken out of the blood. Okay, but if you're needing a meal, like maybe you haven't eaten in a while, then the pancreas's job is to secrete a hormone called glucagon. And glucagon's job is to do the opposite. It tells the liver, hey dude, you, you stored up some excess glucose, can you do me a favor and break some free? So even though the liver is the organ that's storing the glucose as glycogen and breaks the glycogen down into glucose, it gets the signal from the pancreas. The pancreas is the one that produces the hormones that tells the liver to do that. That's why it's endocrine, it's a hormonal function that tells the liver to do its job. Okay, so insulin is when sugar's high and glucagon is when your sugar's low, and its job is to get it to do the opposite. Okay, um, the next one, the Mr. Spleen. Mr. Spleen, that's one of my favorites. I love it. It's right here on the side. You guys can see it right here. It's a little slender. We call it the slender spleen. It's usually aggie maroon colored, kind of like the kidney. Um, it does belong in the lymphatic system. Okay, lymphatic system. Its job is to, number one, produce white blood cells. Okay, they're called lymphocytes that aid in immunity. So it produces some white blood cells that help fight infection. It also is nicknamed the red blood cell cemetery. It removes old and worn out red blood cells um, from your body because red blood cells only live about 120 days. And after that 120 day lifespan, the spleen's job is to remove them from circulation. Okay. All right, moving on to Mr. Thymus. We have to look above the heart for this. Okay, right here, it fits like a hat on top of the heart. It's kind of like hat shaped. You can see it right here. This whole thing is a gland. That's why it looks bumpy. Okay, it is made of, of epithelial tissue. Okay, it's job, well, first of all, it's in the, it's in the lymphatic system. Uh, excuse me, I can't believe it. It's in both. It's in lymphatic and endocrine. Miss Linum, seriously, come on. It's in lymphatic and endocrine. It belongs to two systems, but its job is the same. Bottom line, it aids in immunity. It helps fight infection. Okay, one cool thing is when you are born, your thymus gland is about twice the size of, as it is when you're an adult, because as you get older, you start to produce your own immune system, your own antibodies to fight infection, so there's no need for that thymus to be so large. So it takes a while for um, you know little kids to develop an immunity. So one more time, it's in lymphatic system. For lymphatic, it produces white blood cells to fight immunity, and then it's also part of the endocrine system, and it produces hormones that aid in immunity. All right, let's go to the adrenal gland right over here. A lot of you love this gland. What you do is you find the kidney right here, and there's a bumpy nodule right here above the kidney. That's called the adrenal gland. Okay, it produces epinephrine. You guys probably call it adrenaline. It's known as that fight or flight hormone, and so it's usually secreted in a, in a life-threatening situation to give you like major energy because it increases blood flow. You get more oxygen and more glucose to the muscles, to the heart, etc., which gives you that fight or flight response. So that's called the adrenal gland. Okay, I believe that is it. So let's just do one more run through, make sure you know where they are. Okay, ready? Liver, right here. Lift it up. Okay, we've got lift up the stomach. Pancreas, right here. Spleen, right there. Adrenal gland, right there. And thymus on top of the heart. Okay. All right. Good job, y'all.